Hello everyone, this is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video I want to show you a few things about parameter expansions in Bash. This is a very useful skill in uh, shell scripting because it makes your code more efficient and uh, less reliant on external processes. So I have prepared a series of examples which I will be walking you through and in each step of the process I will be running the script so that you see what it evaluates into. So the way you define a, a, a parameter in a bash is with the equals sign. So what is to the left of the equals sign is the key of the parameter or its name, its label, and what is to the right is its uh, value. So the command here echo name means that um, uh, print the value of the parameter called name. So I will run the script here and indeed it prints just the value which is my name in all uh, lowercase letters. Very nice. Um, that's the most, uh, the most generic way of expanding uh, a parameter in Bash. But there are other more powerful uh, ways which we'll be uh, demoing herein such as in this example. So what I want to do now is get the length of the value that this parameter uh, expands into. Whenever we want to operate on the parameter, whenever we want to manipulate it, we have to enclose it in curly braces. So this is a syntax that applies uh, for any kind of operation. It's curly braces and then the name and then depending on the action we are uh, performing uh, the appropriate syntax. So here we have uh, we we want to get the length of the parameter so we prepend to its uh, key uh, the column sign. So this will um, evaluate this will print a number uh, showing the length in characters of uh, the value of this parameter. We run the script to see. So the value uh, protesilos is 11 characters long and we see here uh, the number 11. Very nice. Now someone may come to me and say, hey look, um, your name is a bit long and I have uh, trouble uh, memorizing it. I cannot commit it to memory. To which I will reply, fear not for I know how to do substring extraction in bash, which brings us to the next example. Uh, the way we do this is that uh, we define uh, an offset and a length. So we, we use the column sign here uh, to define an offset. The offset in this case um, is a zero, which means the beginning of the value. And uh, then the length, which is four, so four characters long. So what this will do is it will match the first four characters of the value and print only the only the only the matching uh, pattern it will leave out the rest of them let's run this and indeed we have the four the first four letters which is my nickname prot so this makes it easier for people to memorize all thanks to bash <laughs> next up we have here in this example uh, we have a, a way of um, capitalizing the first match and the uh, we will see this. By the way, when we use um, a single uh, a single marker, such as with this one here, it means uh, the first of whatever it is uh, you are um, operating on. Whereas a double marker, so two two signs, whatever signs, means all occurrences of. So if I run this now, I am expecting uh, the first letter of uh, the default value. Uh, to be a majuscule, to be a capital uh, letter, capital case, uppercase. And uh, this is indeed the case, so it's Protesilos with a P uh, capital. And uh, as I said, uh, when it's a double uh, sign, a double marker, so uh, this here, when it's like this, it means all instances of, all, all matches. So this sh should capitalize the whole value. And it did exactly that. Very nice. This concludes my first example. Let's move on to the next one. Here I have defined a, a, a parameter with my name in all uh, capital uh, uppercase letters. 
And what I want to do now is the reverse of what I did before, is um, convert into lowercase the first instance of uh, the value. So this is done with the comma. So a single comma means the first of and uh, turn that into lowercase. So it does exactly that and of course two commas applies to the full length of uh, the value and that uh, and it did exactly that. Some more uh, features now. Let's see what we have here. Here we can unset the name so this means that we what we did before is rendered void so the parameter name no longer exists so if we do echo name it should return nothing uh, whatsoever i will run this so that you can see and then i will explain the the rest of the examples so we see here an empty line here. This is exactly because the parameter name has been unset. It is a null, uh, so there is nothing to print. In which case we can define a default. So we do this by using the, the column sign and then a hyphen and then uh, the value we want to use as the default value in those cases where the parameter is unset or null. So the default will only be used when this does not exist. And then uh, I use two examples here. One is with a string, so I have written a word which is my name, and then with another parameter. So this is an environment variable, so user is an environment variable which corresponds to the username uh, that I'm currently running this session in. So let's see what we have with this. Indeed, here we have um, the default value, which is the string I passed to it. And here we have the parameter uh, that I passed to it as a default. Very nice. Of course, this is a, a very powerful uh, feature once you get to uh, implement it in a real world example, because you can have um, a condition which evaluates into something and this, uh, this uh, sets a specific parameter and there's this parameter um, manipulates other parameters and then uh, depending on the conditions you have the appropriate behavior very nice very powerful um, and I'm only scratching the surface here right because I am also still learning this it's fairly new to me as well so on to the next example the third and last example here I have defined the parameter um, um, called the freedom and uh, this is a string which reads GNU not UNIX semicolon GNU plus Linux and what I want to do here is I want to do a pattern match and replace it with a string so if you see here so a pattern match is uh, a, a, actually it's a substitution it's uh, denoted with the forward slash so a single forward slash means the first of, whereas uh, two uh, forward slashes means uh, mean every instance of, as, it, as was the case with the previous examples. So here I say match the pattern GNU, so in this case the word GNU, and replace it with the string GANU. Let me run this to see exactly what is going on. So indeed it replaces the first instance with the string that we passed to it but the second instance remains intact it has not been uh, manipulated it has not been touched which is exactly what we were expecting whereas here i have a double uh, forward slash so this uh, my expectation is that every instance of gnu should be converted into ganu and indeed this is the case very nice but what makes uh, this um, even more uh, useful is the ability to use um, regular expressions. So here, if you see here, I have, a, I have defined the glob star. So the, um, what's, what's it called? I forget the word right now. So yeah, basically the asterisk, which uh, matches uh, every character. So what I, what I am telling the, um, the parameter expansion here is um, take every character, then the space and then the semicolon and then the space following that and replace it with nothing so basically delete it so what this will do is that it will delete 
the first part of uh, the value I have uh, defined. Let's see that in practice by running the script. Indeed, it removes the first uh, sentence and the semicolon and the spaces surrounding it, and it leaves us only with the second sentence, which is GNU plus Linux. This is very nice. You don't need to run a sed or cut or whatever other process you intend to use. Just use uh, the built-in option of uh, bash. Now, what we have here, uh, let me see. So here I define another, um, another parameter. This is uh, similar uh, with the previous one, but it's a bit more verbose. So GNU not Unix, GNU is not Unix, GNU slash Linux, uh, GNU slash Linux. Uh, so if I echo this, it this was at the very beginning. Let me clear the screen just a second. So if I echo this, I get this in place. Uh, so the whole, this verbose uh, script, this verbose uh, string, sorry. And if I run uh, the same pattern as I did above, uh, but this time matching every instance of the pattern, what, what should happen is that this whole thing should be deleted and only the very last sentence should remain in place. Let's run this and see if it is indeed the case. And that's exactly what we were looking for. It removed this whole thing and it left only the very end of it. Sorry, I should grab that as well, but okay, you get the idea. And uh, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, I am fairly new to this uh, feature as well, as I am reading through the GNU bash manual. Um, very, very good, uh, very interesting read. You, you get a lot out of it and it's highly recommended because it will greatly improve your shell scripting uh, uh, skills. And I myself, I'm already applying those skills uh, in some of the scripts I published on my dot .files recently, uh, actually today, earlier today, and I am uh, always experimenting to find the new ways of uh, optimizing my code, making it uh, better. This is always a learning process and I am happy to share uh, whatever little knowledge I have accumulated thus far. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.